What's up amigos? Isaac checking in today and I want to talk about reprogramming the subconscious mind part three in this series I'm doing and today's video I'm going to focus mainly on visualization maybe touch a little bit on the law of attraction my thoughts on it how you can use this tool right because it's something that a lot of people don't really use but it can be very powerful indeed now to begin with let me give you some background information um, human beings were different to normal animals right in a few ways but one of the most obvious ways is through the capacity we have to abstract the power of abstraction that we have right so a normal animal will be running off base evolutionary biological drives and instincts in the sense that if you give an animal such as a rat a stimulus like a piece of cheese in a maze the response is going to be predictable almost like a you know computer software or something like that, right? The rat's gonna run there, the mouse's gonna run there and eat the cheese, it's, it's gonna be predictable. Human beings are not as predictable because we have the power of abstraction, right? We can change how we behave to send stimulus by looking ahead. And it's looking ahead that's equipped us with the tools that have allowed us to gain the upper hand over nature and other animals, in the sense that we've now have these buildings and these feats of engineering. They all start from abstraction. They all start from someone being able to sit down today and think about the future, envision the future, envision certain ideas, visualize, that's the key word, visualize things that haven't happened yet and keep it in the mind until it manifests in the real world, the real domain. So it's a very powerful tool. And most people understand the power of it. They understand the power of it in terms of certain things like architecture or engineering things that are tangible things that are easy to see the results of so when you know einstein uses these uh thought experiments to visualize these concepts of physics and then it leads to real laws being made that actually govern certain things in the physical plane people understand that or when different scientists or engineers come up with the jet engine they visualize it and it comes into the real plane and now we're flying over different countries, over the seas, it makes sense. But people have not yet grasped it in the sense of their own self-improvement. They've used it for the external, but not inwards, right? So the power of visualization can work inwards as well. And the reason people haven't used it is because we kind of are discouraged by society, our parents, or whoever, to not visualize, to not use our imagination as we grow up is seen as something that's childish because kids do it. So we are often taught to come back to reality. We're taught to focus on the real world and stop thinking, stop imagining, right? That's what kids do. But pay attention. The fact that kids do it naturally should tell you something. It's a birthright, it's something that's important. Now, while kids use it to visualize certain, you know, little bullshit TV characters and snakes and whatever the hell kids can visualize these days, you can use it to visualize things that are actually going to make you better, that are actually going to improve you, take you to another level, right? And the way you do it is you visualize, spend some time each day. Spend some time, even when you have idle time or you're sitting down doing nothing, spend that time visualizing who you want to become, right? Visualizing the person you want to become, right? So to give you an example, a common problem that a lot of people have, which is a good, which is a common problem is the problem of confidence. I had this problem myself and I've conquered it, but a good way to do this is through visualization, right? So let's say you're not confident, you're shy, you don't want to talk to people, you're scared. What you could do is every morning or whenever you have time throughout the day, whenever you have idle time, just spend some time visualizing what it would be like if you were confident, visualizing how you'd act, how you'd walk around, would you walk around with good posture with your chest out? How would you talk to people? How does your voice project when you're speaking to people? Are they receiving it well? Do they receive it well? How do you carry yourself? What's your charisma like? Are you magnetic? Things like that, right? Visualize yourself with all these things and constantly do it and something amazing happens. Eventually, if you keep doing it, if you keep adding detail to it, vividly doing it too, because the more you do it, the better you get more you do it just like anything else the better you get visualization to the point where it's almost real you're actually going to change your brain because your brain your subconscious mind that is doesn't really understand the difference between what's real and what's imagined 
especially if you really bombard it with something that's imagined and you make it vivid, you make it like it's real, it's going to respond to it as if it's a real thing. And surely, slowly but surely, you're going to start um, manifesting these things in the real world. You're going to start behaving this way without you even knowing it because your brain's going to be like, this is who we are now. This is what we've been doing, right? So let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. And you're going to start doing these things automatically without thinking about it. And just just think about it. Like, when you're watching a movie, right? And you're watching a scary movie, sometimes you get so engaged into it that you actually cry, you feel those emotions and all these things, right? But you know for a fact that what's on the screen is not real, right? But because you're so engaged into it, your brain and your body actually has real physiological responses as if those things are happening in the real world. Your heart rate might go up. In the same way as visualizing, if you do it often, you get good at it, your brain will start thinking that these things are real. And that's where the power comes in. And in, I think this is where the law of attraction actually gets most of its um, merits from. See, a lot of people talk about the law of attraction, but they talk about it in this weird, spiritual, spooky, wooky, pocus pocus bullshit. I'm not 100% sure about that stuff. I don't believe in the universe conspiring to help you. I don't think the universe really cares about you, to be honest with you. But I do believe in visualization leading you to changing your reticular activation system, which we talked about in part two of the series, the previous video. And through your reticular activation system changing, you are now able to focus or pick up on things that you normally would not have picked up on, right? Because your brain's now looking at those things, right? So I feel like that's where it works. So, um, yeah, visualization, it's really powerful. And you don't need to look any further than some of these uh, celebrities or sport athletes. A lot of sports teams actually have visualization drills where they ask people to visualize what they would be like on the field. And lo and behold, when they actually play, a lot of these things that they visualize actually come into play, right? They actually happen. So the more you do it, the better you get at it. Look at Conor McGregor. That's a very popular example that people talk about, especially in regards to law of attraction and visualization. Um, he had that very big fight with Jose Ado where he visualized how he was going to knock him out. He told everyone previously how he was going to knock him out and in what fashion. And then it happened because it played in his brain again. He played it in his brain thousands of times. And when it came to reality, all he was doing was reacting. The same thing with you. When you visualize all these things, when you get into the real world and these things start happening, you'll be so surprised. You'll be like, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. I've seen this before. Now, of course, just like anything, you can't, this is not a uh, quick fix pill. It's not like you just visualize something one time and then it happens. It's not like you visualize a million dollars in your pockets and then just appear. That's not how this works. I believe it works when you're visualizing about character changes, things that you're capable of doing as a reminder to get your brain to work in that frequency, to get your brain to believe it, and so that you can stop bringing those ideas, those concepts into the real world. That's what I think the power of visualization lies. That's where I think the power and law of attraction really lies, not in some mystic summoning, conjuring of whatever you want. That's bullshit. That's the type of stuff that people make to sell books. That's the type of stuff that people make to sell DVD sets so that you can buy it and they can get rich. They can get the money they visualize, right? So that's my video for today, guys. Um, add that to your arsenal of tools in regards to reprogramming your subconscious mind and you will see some huge results, I promise you. Visualization, but you have to do it constantly, right? So find time throughout the day to do it. Visualize yourself in the first person, right? Visualize yourself in the first person to make it more real. It's kind of like the NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, guys always talk about. It. It's called associating it, associating the thought with yourself, not dissociation. Dissociation is seeing it in the third person. doesn't make it as close to you. When you associate things in the first person, you're more likely to remember them. It's more likely to be real, right? So visualize in the first person, do it frequently, and, of course, still to take necessary actions to realize those things. The visualization, the visualization is just a supplement. It's going to help you get there quicker. And that's the video for today, guys. I've still got more in this series of reprogramming your subconscious mind. And yeah, um, we'll see what I'm going to visualize next, yeah? Leave a comment down below and let's discuss this video. Until next time, peace. So, this is the end of the video. You must have really liked it if you got this far. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Okay. If you liked it, 
please click subscribe and hit the post notifications because YouTube is doing this weird thing right now where if you subscribe, it doesn't even show you my videos. Very strange, very strange stuff. But yeah, click those post notifications. Well, good. Till next time.